and uh, from the central region let's swing straight back here to accra the capital and unemployed nurses and midwives earlier today picketed at the flagstaff house the seat of government the nurses expressed disappointment at the huge number of police personnel details to confront the exercise but the police say the trainee nurses did not seek permission before embarking on the picket at the seat of government the nurses numbering about 30 started the exercise at about 9 a.m. at a bus stop in front of the Flagstaff House. The police, upon hearing the presence of the nurses, came in their numbers. What brings you here? I'm not asking about your problem. I don't work with Minister of Health. I can't solve your health problem. I can't solve your employment problem. So I'm not concerned about that. What I'm saying is, what brings you here? How we do it in this country? Is that the rules? Everyone can just wake up and go. Can you go to... U.S. and say, I'm going to the uh, White House to talk to the president. Is that what we do? Yeah. Master, look, but let's, on, let's, uh, 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 let's obey rules. Rice goes with rules. responsibilities, you know that. The nurses had to be moved to the other side of the road in order not to break any security rules. The angry nurses, who are supposed to be about 5,500 in all, said they had not been posted since they completed training in 2013. Coming to the flat half house, whether it will solve the issue or not is simply because we've been to our appropriate ministry several times, yet received no or uh, how do you call it relentless, no sure reassurances. So our members are now frustrated. Even if we, we the leaders, tell our members that they should be patient. They tell us that we come here and we, we are giving bribe, then we come back and tell them uh, stories. So because of that, they, they themselves are coming here to come and make their own follow-ups. Unless they come out to tell us something and give us a date of getting employment, we are not leaving. Oh, I know. I know definitely once we start that we are coming to make follow-ups, but the police from nowhere will come, that they are coming to stop us. We know very well, and we are psychologically prepared for that. That is why all this is happening. You can see my people are still smiling, because it does not tickle even an atom in ourselves. As part of their service to Ghana, the nurses are under a bond to serve in the country for a period of at least four years before seeking employment in any private health facility or traveling outside the country. Some of our colleagues have been posted and we don't know the criteria they used in posting them. Anytime we go to the ministry, the minister keeps telling us we should take our time. They are still working on it. The last time they referred us to the Ministry of Finance and they told us they are still on the validation stage. But yet still, we've, we've not received any information. So we thought it wise to come to see the president himself. Maybe he can help us because the ministry that we are, we are working with them, it looks as if they don't care about us. The leadership of the unemployed nurses say they have refused several calls from the health minister Monday morning to address their grievances. Uh, clearly very aggrieved nurses there. And uh, some of them said they have completed since 2013 and 2014 academic year and have yet to receive postings. Speaking uh, to join us on this issue and to find out what they intend doing about it is the president of the Ghana Registered Nurses Association, Kweku Asante Krobia. Good afternoon, sir. Thank you very much for your time. Good afternoon. Ha have you heard of these concerns and uh, what is your immediate comment on it? Well, uh, the um, unpaid nurses uh, today uh, had the opportunity of uh, meeting the Minister of Employment and Labor Relations and uh, a top official, so the Minister of Finance. And I think uh, we are on a sound road to complete the uh, negotiation so that they can get paid. We did give assurance by Honorable Harun Ejis that by the close of this week, Clearance should have been given for the appeal. So I think they are on call. But this is not an issue only of payment. It is an issue of postings. Yeah, it, it's, also, it's also about that. They have to get the financial clearance before uh, the posting will be done. Because if they get their postings, which some of them got already and the uh, payment became an issue, and uh, the, the clearance is not established. Right then uh, would have done nothing. So let me talk about the uh, payment here, the issuance of financial clearance that will lead to their payment. As for the matter about their postings, uh, it's not a thing of difficulty at all. But uh, if they go to their places of work and they, are, they don't get paid, then we come back to the situation where salaries should have been, uh, will, have, will remain unpaid for a good number of months. 
So, uh, persons, yes, but the financial clarity issue is more important here, which Harry and Sisu um, has, has promised will be issued by close of this week. This was also confirmed by the Deputy Minister of Finance. All right, but uh, one, one side of the argument put up by these um, unemployed nurses and uh, midwives is that they have not been, these assurances have come severally, but uh, what you are saying is also an assurance. Why should they take this assurance more seriously? Well, the uh, ministries of finance, employment and labor relations, and uh, health, I have been complaining all this time about uh, bottlenecks in the salary administration. And that accounts for these delays. You remember, His Excellency the President spoke about it and laid the blame on the, um, the Ministry of Health. And uh, this time around, I think the unpaid nurses themselves have got what they wanted. When they picked it at uh, the front of the flyer bl today, Mm -hmm. where they demanded that uh, the minister or, or the, the, an official of the presidency come to speak to them. And today, they had that. When um, Honorable Ajini Mbwati came there, and uh, Honorable Harun Adrisi was there, and official uh, deputy minister of finance, also there, think Graham, who is also the chief executive of the Fair oh, Wages Affairs Commission, was yes. there. I was there myself. And that is what they wanted. This time, when I even demanded that we go to the GRNA secretary to discuss this issue, they, they, they declined and said they wanted to be spoken to by these uh, men of authority. And once they have had that, because they said they would take what they say serious. Right. And um, that is why I'm confident that now they've got what they wanted, hoping that they trust what was communicated to them. And by the close of this week, they would deliver on the problem. Okay, and my final question to you would be, um, how do we intend to prevent the recurrence of this development? Well, we, it was heartwarming to hear the Deputy Minister of Finance saying that the presidency has instituted a task force uh, to deal with the matter, and that the uh, Deputy Minister of Finance himself, the Chairman, of that uh, team, and that's exactly what they, were, they are going to do as part of the attempt of reference um, to ensure that uh, this thing does not occur again. Um, let us see what will happen from here. The GRNA will monitor the uh, work of this committee and see to it that uh, um, any business relating to graduates of the issues of graduates of graduate nurses are dealt with by the committee. So okay. I'm hopeful that uh, the committee will resolve the matter once and for all. Okay. So end of this week, I guess. End of this week, we'll hear something positive. I'm sure. Okay. Thank you very much, Kweku Asante Krobia. He is the president of the Ghana Registered Nurses Association and uh, some of their members, the unemployed graduate nurses are saying that they've not been posted or they've not been given postings for the past two years between 2013 and 2014 since they completed school. But the assurance is that hopefully by end of this week something concrete or positive would come up for them as a result of a task force put together by government to look into this issue. We thank you for speaking to us.